Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and for everyone who's new here, hey, glad you found me. My name's Lara. Today I thought I'd show you my coloring book collection and I will split this in two parts just because I think this would be a 50-60 minute video if I wouldn't. Um, yeah, today I will show you my non-color by number collection. The next video will be all my color by number and one color and dots and spirals books. So yeah, I thought we'd start. Some of these books I literally didn't color in years, but these are all things that I really like. So let's start with these little cute things. I found at a one euro shop near me. It's called Action Mart. So these are, like you can see, little mandala books. And this one is all about horses or unicorns. Very cute little pictures, I think. <laughs> and yeah, this is stuff I take with me when I'm at the doctor's office or something, so that I have something to do while waiting. So you can see <laughs> I'm doing some stuff from time to time in this. <laughs> Here we have one. <laughs> yeah. I got a few more of these, like some in a rectangular shape, some like little circles, and you have this typical Zentangle stuff in here, like everyone knows, I guess. <laughs> some very cute pictures, some very simple ones. I like to use stuff like this and for testing out my mediums and things like that, see how much bleeds through the paper or not. Then we have something with like little collections, everything's themed, like some animals, <laughs> something about vacations, much Zentangle stuff, sorry, <laughs> music, Thanksgiving, and these teeny tiny little things I just love that that's so cool like if I want to get my fine liners out and do something with this some science stuff <laughs> very cute some animal mandalas like the name implies many many animals <laughs> some chickens and turtles <laughs> Little frogs, <laughs> more chickens and some horses, <laughs> dolphins, <laughs> a dog, reminds me of my own, <laughs> birds, yeah, I really like these little ones. <laughs> and I guess this is more of a miscellaneous type, like some shapes and animals some fantasy stuff <laughs> so yeah very very cute books if you want to go somewhere and take something to color with you these two um i got from a i'd say wholesale someone in a facebook group sold a big big uh, packet of coloring books from literally everywhere some from the dollar store, some from the bookstores, and these two were inside of it. Most of these I gave to like <laughs> little nieces and cousins, like princess coloring books and stuff uh, I wouldn't really color in. And yeah, it's more of the same, but on <laughs> rectangular paper. And here, more mandalas. I, I really like mandalas. I think they are super relaxing. I like to do them a lot. So yeah, these were the super teeny tiny books. Then I got uh, the miniature Enchanted Forest from Johanna Basford. I started coloring the nameplate page to see which mediums I can use in this book without bleeding through. Turned out none of the mediums I used were particularly good for not bleeding through, so I think I will 
color in this book with some pencils and we'll try to keep it that way. <laughs> I really like the illustrations in here. I would have really wished for a book that's only one-sided, but um, I don't think, uh, ex except the Christmas book. I think the Christmas book had some one-sided pictures and like the little extras on the end of the book, uh, of a jungle book, had some one-sided ones. Yeah, I really like these. <laughs> so, yeah. My next book is a very old book too. Sweet Dreams, a pocket coloring book. Like I said, like the little round ones, this is stuff I take with me when I'm going somewhere and want to color something. You see that? <laughs> because I have many pages I started but didn't finish. <laughs> I think I have some finishes in here. Yeah, for example, this one I got my first Copic markers uh, for Christmas and I wanted to test them out a little bit. Hmm. Another one I started with gel pens. Oh, here's something. <laughs> A little key. <laughs> little flowery type. And you can see I didn't really know how to use them at the beginning. It was streaky. This was something I colored with fine liners. <laughs> so, yeah. Then we have a little coloring book set. I got this from a dollar store too. So you can take this and then open it up and in the middle you have space for some color pencils. Sorry for the crinkle. I mean you can put fine liners or anything you want in it really. And then you have two like coloring blocks. <laughs> and yeah, with some cute images inside of them. More Zentangli stuff like these mm, coloring books you see around in dollar stores or anything much of the time. So, yeah. Let's close this little one back up. <laughs> Put it to the side. Then we have creative, just called creative. <laughs> I did some things in here too. I'm very sure there's something, yeah, like patterns, but you have like miniature environments in here too, many like patterns, <laughs> if you can see a pattern in here. And Every page has a quote on the back side. I really like that this book is one-sided. I just love one-sided books. <laughs> yeah, this is a really cute one. And there's a page, if I can find it. Let me, sh let me look real quick. Here. I colored this with the teeniest tiniest fine liner I had like all these little bits I think it was my Copic liner with 0 0.03 millimeters like you can see how tiny this is this was so crazy to color but I loved it I just loved it yeah another gel pen picture you can see I'm not very good at keeping my um Page is very clean there, but I try my best, hey. <laughs> then, um, even if this is just a little magazine type thing, this is a coloring book that means a lot to me, because a very good friend of the family that wasn't even obligated to give me anything for my birthday, um, gave me this when I turned 18, and I did a few things in here, of course, and I thought it was so sweet of her. She worked uh, together with my mom and 
like I said, she wasn't really obligated to give me anything, but uh, we liked each other very much and she <laughs> said she didn't want to leave me out on a day like this and I thought that was really cute. So yeah, this is one of the coloring books I got at the beginning of my <laughs> hobby. So you can see the work in it is pretty sloppy, <laughs> but I had fun and I think that's what matters. Then we got a Zen color book by Top. Top uh, releases many books here in Germany. Um, they are, I think, together with ARS edition, one of the biggest publishers here. And like the big names like Joanna Besford, you can find these in bookstores too here, of course. And yeah, this was a book that was bundled with some neon felt tip pens that I really wanted to get. So <laughs> yeah, I thought this book was the nice extra. Obviously, uh, Top thought of this the other way around and was like, you get the pens extra if you buy the book. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't do anything in here so far, but this is a one-sided book again and I like this really much. And the paper like isn't the thinnest, so I think you can uh, use a wide variety of mediums in here without really having a problem. Of course, you should still put a blotter page in between just to be safe, but I don't think that I have to tell you that. <laughs> then we have Mein Spaziergang durch die Jahreszeiten um, by Rita Berman. I think many of you know this artist because of the the words under the microscope um, books she brought out and published. Yeah, I did a fair few things in here. Try to do the first page. <laughs> yeah, mostly I colored in here with my Stella Norris Club coloring pencils, like the ones uh, many of you don't like because they don't give them much color. But I think uh, just if I like some more pastel -y tones or don't want to like perfect the page, I really like these pencils. You can just color with them and you can even do a little bit of shading if you're really, really wanting this. So yeah, I think I got a few other finishes in here. Yeah, the little sneakers with the flowers. <laughs> And, yeah, things you could buy on the market. <laughs> okay. Next one. This is a little bit of an oddity, especially for uh, people from the United States, I think. Um, this is a coloring book about German YouTubers. A uh, German YouTuber itself did. It's a very creative YouTuber. He's called Honigball. She's... I'm sorry, she's called Honigball. And yeah, she made a little coloring book for YouTubers here in Germany that many people like very much and tells a little bit about the, the things here. And I really like this one. It was very, very cute. And as you can see, I did quite a bit in here. <laughs> This is when I got my first alcohol markers, even before the Copics. Yeah, it was a little touch cool set and at the time they were like $60 for 80 uh, pencils, pens, I'm sorry. And <laughs> these are prices you can't imagine right now paying for like non-branded alcohol markers. So yeah, everyone gets like a little page where you can see their name and how they are called on YouTube and a respective picture of them to color with these little chibis on their front page. And I really like this book. It's very, very cute. <laughs> yeah. And 
many, if not all, uh, creators still do YouTube and I still watch many of them after my work or if I have free time in general. So yeah, the next set contains three mandala books I got from the same store as the little mini books you saw at the beginning. These are just like, they were about 80 cents a piece and they have like double-sided mandalas. So you, you would have to turn it this way. <laughs> I think uh, they are very cute, but due to the fact that I don't like to color big mandalas like this with colored pencils, I think uh, with the sides I have to <laughs> sacrifice one picture. Maybe these books hold um, normal felt tip pens very good. I didn't try them out as of right now. But yeah. All sorts of mandalas are in, in here. Some with some animals, like this one. Some with like more zentangly stuff. Flowers, of course, patterns. And I thought they were really, really cute. Like if you see what you get for your money, 72 pictures per book, about 80 cents. In price that's a little bit over a cent for a mandala I think that's not at all a bad price and especially like there are some big pictures inside so I think uh, kids would have fun in books like this too so this is something you can gladly give to your little ones and let them have fun for a little bit here yeah. Okay, the next one is a little bit of a oddity, I'd say. It's called Farbenfrohe Weihnachtspäckchen by Sarah Walsh. And this book contains 24 foldable little packages you can color with all sorts of motives for Christmas. I really, really like this book and I already did a few of these little packages and put some cookies inside and gave them away. And this is the inside of the package and this is the outside, every time with a little bit of a nameplate page, I'd say. I really like this book. <laughs> so yeah, and it's a, it's a rather big one. Okay, now we start to get to the part of the books that are like a little bit more popular, I'd say, like the Johanna Bassfords and Hannah Carsons and stuff you find very, very good at Amazon. I have these two books, the Pastel Goth books, the Kawaii book and the normal Pastel Goth book. And I have some finishes in here too. So yeah, these are just little characters, like the book says, goth style, and I really, really think these pictures are super duper cute. I really like this one, and yeah, like I said, I have some finishes in here. I got a little bunny, I colored again with my Stadler pencils. Then I tried a little bit of a different thing. This is all acrylic paint from my old um, Ravensburger color by number sets. And this paint dries super, super matte. And the paper, even though it's Amazon paper, holds it really well. Of course, it is a bit wobbly, but I don't really care. I think this turned out super, super cool. And of course, uh, some alcohol marker coloring, a little Cerberus. And as far as I know, I got a girl done in here. Yes. Colored her like she sits in a little bit of slime, has some eyeballs around her. <laughs> I think this is cute. And these bow ties with the eyeball, eyeballs in it, you see this very often in this book. 
So yeah, I think I will color many, many more pictures in here. <laughs> this is so cute, I love dogs. My absolute favorite animals. Then we have the next one. These are the only two ones in the series and I finished one picture in here. I'm showing it to you now, no problem, but this will be a part of my finished painters at the end of the month. I can guarantee that. Oh goodness, where is it? Here. I did the little Cthulhu monster and I think this is really, really, really cute. Like his little tentacles in the face. The only thing I didn't really like uh, is this bleeding from from the markers. They bled a little bit into each other because you can't do an intricate form like that and don't mess up. At least I can't. <laughs> So yeah, this is a little bit more of an offensive book, like uh, you can see there are some words in here that you don't really <laughs> want to use on YouTube. And these are very, very cute, catchy phrases, very sarcastic, but I really, really like this book. It's fairly new, I think I got it like one and a half week ago. These are so cute. <laughs> so yeah. Now we come to a big, big, big boy again. And I think many of you know this, especially when you watch Lisa's Coloring Corner. The Geometric Patterns, Volume 1 to 10 by David Hinken Jr. 240 pages of patterns. A massive, massive, massive book. And there are so many cool patterns in here. I think I, I can't really decide where to start, <laughs> where to end. I have like two to three whips in here, but didn't found the time to really finish one of them yet. I really like patterns in general, but um, I need a break from them fairly quickly. Like, I can color it for an hour, hour and a half, and then <laughs> I just need a break and do something different. Yeah, so I don't know if I can find the whips right now. One is marked with a little blotter page. Just started this one, had to do something else. I think my dog wanted to go out, so I much, much rather spend the time with my dog than just coloring. And a little one in the beginning, I guess. Yeah, here. Yeah. I wanted to do this in two different purple tones and then this one in red or blue tones. I'm going to finish it eventually. Then... I present to you the book that travels with me to work and back every day when I'm in the office. At the moment we have home office like I think everyone else that is able to provide home office for the, his workers. Let me just uh, get these coloring books out of the way. <laughs> so um, This is Magical Patterns and it is a hardcover book. I just love hardcover books. If I had the option to buy hardcover books of every coloring book there is and that I want, I just do it no matter the price. Let me tell you that. This is the one I'm working on in the office because I use a little like pen to mark uh, the things that I did and I use that for the background here. So yeah, it's it will be finished one day. <laughs> Then something like this, like there's so just so many repetitive patterns, little blobs of color, little sticks. I really, really love this book. This is such a sweet little thing. This is another whip. So yeah, <laughs> a really cute book. Then 
Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I really, really love this book, but I'm so intimidated by it. Like, I, every time I have books like this, I want to color it very, very cute and want to do everything with my polychromos and stuff like this. Like, you see, I want to shade and I want to do it very, very, very pretty. But I'm so intimidated by it. Like, of course, I did something in it, but more like the little things, like you can see with the butterflies here. And I just try to do some stuff in it and eventually get a page done. Like these pages, I just love these, yeah, old story, story-esque pictures, these frames. It's so, so cute. And I'm sorry if you hear some background noise, um, as far as I can tell, someone uh, is over today to look at all the energy, these little things where you can count how much energy you, you used up in a year to document that. So yeah, and he has to check every apartment. <laughs> Yeah, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. <laughs> I think we all know that book. Then, 101 Mandalas. Just a very, very simple Mandala book. Some with very bold lines. Some with very thin lines. Some a little bit more intricate. Like this one. And even though this is a double-sided book that, as you can tell, wasn't that expensive, the paper holds up really well to um, colors. Like, for example, this is a page I colored with markers. And you can't really tell on the other side, like maybe a little bit of ghosting here, but not very much. So yeah, I was very impressed when I saw that this book holds color so well. <laughs> Little chameleon. And this is something I colored with metallic gel pens. The complete picture. Just wanted to use them. <laughs> then we have a book from the same series called 101 Lucky Moments or Glücksmomente in German. <laughs> And this is more of this miscellaneous type, but I really like this book. Very, very good looking pictures, in my opinion. So. Now we come to like one of my favorites when it comes to non-color by number books. This is Soulmates by Hannah Carlson. And I don't think that I have to tell you how gorgeous her artwork is. This is the book where every person gets his soulmate, <laughs> how the name implies, um, like a soulmate animal. and. Her illustrations are just gorgeous. I just love her so much. But the same thing like with Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. I am super, super intimidated with her artwork because I just want to make everything perfect in this book. And I have a whip in here. Um, let me say I am working with uh, acrylic paint again. I really love to work with acrylic paint in her books. I have to search for it. Here it is. I'm doing the Scorpion Lady with the acrylics again. And as you can tell, they are very matte when they dry. I like this. So every time I get out a little brush, I'm looking that I get a little bit done in this book and on this whip. And all of this started with the next book because 
This is, I think, one of my oldest books in my collection, Henner Carlson's Daydreams. And actually, this was the book I started this coloring with acrylic paints in. Of course, I have many things done in here in general. And this is what I mean. I just want to do the, the best that I can in these books. These are very, very old colorings, at least three years old by now. <laughs> this is when I got my Prisma colors, my thirst, first 72 set of them. And I was so, <laughs> I don't know why, but I was obsessed with making black backgrounds. And I did this all with Micron fineliner, so don't ask me how long this took. <laughs> Yeah. Then I got my first pastel sticks and I tried my best to use them. The first time turned out pretty good, I guess. The second time was okay, I, I think. But as you can see at a later picture, this wasn't always the case. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I think I just lost interest in this page somewhere along the lines. You can see that I colored into the waves here with the pastels and somewhere along the lines I said I don't want to work on this page anymore. Just forget it. I don't want it. <laughs> My little sea critters. Seahorses are cute. And like I said, this whole acrylic paint coloring started in this book did these little free mouses i just wanted to use up some color that i had left and i don't wanted them to dry out because they do that fairly quickly about six months and they're non-usable did this with a little snail here like all these little rooftop things <laughs> cost me much time but i liked it and I did this bee, or hornet, in acrylic paint too. And I even have a whip in here, as far as I know. Yeah, my little lady. Let's see when I work on that again. Now we come to another one I haven't colored in so far. Paradise of Flowers by Johanna Besford. Okay, I haven't colored in it is a little lie. I started the nameplate page like in every um, book I get that I'm really interested in when it's double-sided. I want to see if the mediums that I think would make or break this book uh, work in it. And as you can see, um, sadly, my fine liners bleed through here. I use my Stabilo fine liners for this. But the colors are so good. I love the colors of my fine liners there. So, yeah. I don't think that I have to tell you much about this book. You all know Johanna Besford and her amazing work. <laughs> really, really love this book. And her newest book, Worlds of Wonders, is already on my wish list. And as soon as I get paid, this is one of the books I'm gonna buy. <laughs> because there are some pages uh, in this book that I really, really want to do, like, right away when it comes. My only Kirby Rosens, Imagine Mafia. And I have a finish in here. Otherwise, the same thing as with Johanna Besford. They intimidate the heck out of me. But one day, I swear I get it. <laughs> one day I will finish a page in here. <laughs> uh, let me search for it. Here. Again with my Stettler Norris Club pencils. Just one of these two little spiders and their webs. Yeah, and like I said, I think people like Kirby Rosens and um, Johanna Besford are like the big names in the coloring book game and I don't have to introduce you to them. Oh, my books get 
up higher and higher. <laughs> then we have another Jade Summer, Dreams Come True, a quote book of her or of the company. And I did a few pages in here, but I took them out and framed them. So um, sadly in this book itself, there are no finishes or whips. And I really like this book. This is so, so cute. This was one of the books I bought because I was like, oh, you can color with alcohol markers in there and bet what I did. <laughs> you can you can guess, <laughs> but I but I think you already know. Then a little uh, magazine called Malz Diaus. Um, you can buy this at the grocery store or anything that has magazines in general and it wants to fall apart. This was one of the books that was included in this big package I bought where I got a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff but things like this. I love this detail but I think like many other people I don't really know where to start on a page like this even though it would look so 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 gorgeous if it when it's done. Definitely. So yeah, just a little coloring magazine. Then we got a fairly cute book. Ausmalen und Stickern Meditation, a little meditation sticker coloring book. I think this is super, super cute. So as you can see, there are stickers in this book and you can use them to decorate stuff or anything. And I already used a little sticker here. And yeah, Zentangle stuff, mandalas. And then you can put them on a present or use them to hold like this tape you, you put around the presents. So that the bow looks nice and neat. Then we have some on this side. Very, very cute stuff, I think. And it was fairly cheap too. I think I bought it for four euros at a drugstore, funny enough. <laughs> Then we have beautiful patterns and this is just like the name implies. A little pattern book. Sadly this paper doesn't hold the color very well but the pages are perforated so if you want to take them out you can do that. And yeah like I said sadly it doesn't hold colors that well but still I really like it. This book is fairly old too, I guess. I have it for about two years now. There's another finish. <laughs> ah, what do we have here? Ah, another whip. <laughs> I think I am somehow notorious for that. Besides my color by number books, if I start a picture in there, I finish it. Yeah, so we are down to our last book in my non-color by number collection. And this is a very, very old book too. It's the Tattoo Coloring Book by Megamunden, I think uh, you call it like that. And yeah, like the title says, it's a coloring book about tattoos. This is the first time I got my little set of polychromos and I tried them out in here. The, yeah, how, how should I say that? A bad thing about this book, even though the illustrations are so, so cute and with these little golden accents, the paper is like newspaper, very porous, very, very thin, and it even gets <laughs> little cuts and bruises if you l use some color pencils on it. So you have to be very careful with this paper. You can't use markers or pens at all in here. It would completely destroy the paper. And as far as I know, yeah, there are two 
very big posters inside, already colored for you to hang up. So I thought this was a very cute thing. And yeah, other than that, like little tattoo illustrations. Something you can design yourself if you want. Oh, another finish. <laughs> so, yeah, this was my non-color by number coloring book collection. I hope you liked the video itself. If you did so, leave a comment if you want. I'm very, very happy if I can read something from you, you left me. And if you see any of these coloring books that you want to buy, I can try to find the links for it um, and provide it to you. But keep in mind, sometimes I may be able to only find it on the German Amazon website. And if you see any book you want to body color in with me, you can gladly ask me via Instagram or in the comments. I will be very, I would be very happy to body color with some of you. And the same goes for my color by number and one color books in the next part. So if you see anything you'd like to body color with me or have any suggestions for me, leave them down in the comments. I'm very happy to answer any question I can. And yeah, have a nice day, stay safe, stay healthy, and I wish you the greatest time you could have. Bye-bye.